welcome to The Know. I'm Meg Turney, and it seems like there's never an end to controversies popping up in the world of esports nowadays. You'll recall that we recently covered Valve banning a group of players who were found guilty of match fixing in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Now the bans have continued, but if you want to check out the original story, you can check it out right over here. Now, this time the game is League of Legends, and the problem isn't players, it's a team manager. Sebastian Folly Rotterdam has been released from Team Meet Your Makers after a recording surfaced in which he threatened one of his own players who wanted to leave the team. Gee, I wonder why he wanted to leave. A statement posted on the team's Facebook page this morning reads, Sometimes we trust in the wrong people, and we're guilty of doing that more than we'd like. Please know that the actions of the few involved do not represent the passionate, hardworking team we have at Meet Your Makers. They then follow that up with a list of facts about the incident, including that the threatening conversation, which, as I said before, was recorded and is available for a listen if you feel like punching something today, did in fact take place, and that Folly would be immediately released from the team as a result. Now, the very TLDR of the situation is that Folly told the player, Marcin Kowalski, that he would cost the team more than $50,000 to replace, and then followed that up by threatening to have his mother's house taken away, as she'd signed his player contract for him due to his young age. The statement on the Facebook page was written by the team's CEO, Colleague Nime, who has also made some questionable comments himself, including this little dandy, Esports has bad people. I'm bad too, but only if people give me reasons. Yeah, that sounds like somebody who should be in charge of an esports team. Meet Your Maker's Facebook statement did say that Riot was fully aware of the situation and would be making their own statement, but they haven't done so yet. Now, personally, I'm hoping that Riot does more than just give this team's management a slap on the wrist. These are kids that they're pushing around. It's disgusting. And furthermore, it hurts the whole scene, and it behooves Riot to make an example here. So, you can read all of MYM's full statement, which includes their proposed solutions moving forward, by clicking the link in the description. But I want to know what you guys think. What should Riot do here, and what should the player do in this situation? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget, you get the very best in video games and entertainment right here, so make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel so you can know what we know and be in the know on this show. Are you?